Hi guys, welcome to Tech Best Blogs. This is Vinod Kumar. So myself and Manoj preparing this whole session. Okay. So in this session, we are going to learn C class. So before learning C class, hope you are of Java, Spring Boot, and basic Spring security. If not, at least try to understand the basics of Java, Spring Boot, as well as Spring security. Okay. So because that this is the course will make sense if you learn at least the basics of those things. Okay. Okay. So before jumping into key class, we should have some basic understanding about SSO and why we need SSO. Okay. So SSO we will call it as a single sign-on. It means uh, if I log in in one place, it should be able to access multiple applications. If I log in one application, I mean I can able to access multiple applications. For example, if you see the Google, right? So in real time, if you see the Google, so you can go and log in your Google application, Google login form. Then you can access the Gmail, you can access the Drive, you can access like any other uh, YouTube, Google Meet, etc. Right? So all the Google products you can able to access once you log in a single form. I mean Google login form, right? So this is we are calling as a single sign-on for multiple applications. Single application you are logging in, but multiple application you are accessing with basically, right? So in another real-time example, for example, if you are working in an organization, okay, or just developing a organization application. Okay, so you may have lot of applications. For example, you may need to develop new application, time sheets, landing portal, like travel request, claim request, pay slip, etc., etc. Right. So these all are different 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 applications. You will develop in what you will develop for a single organization. Right. So as an end user, maybe I am an employee of the organization. So if I go and log in a new application. Again, if I go and log in the timesheet, if I go and log in the landing portal, or like a payslip application, if I log in separately for each application, is that good? Or uh, as an end user, I will be happy for that? No, right? Obviously. So because I belongs to organization, organization all application is belongs to the organization. So obviously, in the single Login. I should be able to access all these application. That is a good practice, right? So, so that the end users will be happy, right? So, this is the approach basically we need to do, right? Right? So, uh, if I log in one application, it should give me access for all the applications related to all the application for the same organization. Okay? So, this is we are calling as a single sign-on. I mean, yes, as so. Okay? So, hope you understand what is SSO and why SSO we need it, right? So, let's see how this key clock is helping here with SSO, okay? So, that's all for now. We'll see it in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.